Okay, Coach Mulligan. So, so we're gonna have we're gonna have a little bit of a hostile environment tonight here at Tiger right. Time. We is, hope is that is that the goal? That's the goal. When you big look time. when you look at this, you organize, organize an event like this, and you bring a Big Ten team into Sager Town High School against the local team, Edinburgh, and your son's on the team. He's a state champ here at, at yeah. Town. What, what's the goal and what's the thinking and where was the vision? Where did it come from? Uh, the vision was when uh, uh, Flynn left the program, uh, Coach Hill took it over. And uh, we committed to Coach Hill, and uh, I started begging him. I mean, when am I ever going to have three high school kids that were state finalists, couple state champs on the same team? And uh, to build the brand, you get them down here, and you'll see tonight this gym, this school loves wrestling, and it's going to be a rabid environment. Uh, you know. I think we're beating Wisconsin. I know you think we got a chance too. Uh, I believe we can win five matches, and if it gets to 174, and if we got to win three out of the last four matches to win, Burrow's going to win. There's going to be bonus points on the board. Okay, when you we know that we're we're gonna have, you have to turn people away. Yeah, you don't have enough room. <laughs> no, we don't. It's a bummer because we were supposed to have 200 more seats on the end. Uh, there, those bleachers are coming. So if we can do it again next year which is the plan, we could probably sell 200 more tickets. What's the official, like, uh, ticket? There'll be, there'll be 900, over 900 and some people here. There'll be 1,000 people in this gym. Yeah, and, and it, you guys support it'll, staff. It'll feel like 10,000. What I tell people, people are like, why would you want to do it? Penn State holds 7,000 people at Rec Hall, hands down the number one team in the country, instead of doing the Bryce Jordan Center where you can get 18 to 20. So it's very comparable for a smaller program. As far like as Denver. venue, yeah, the venue, venue and, and the, the just the atmosphere yeah. in general, right? Yep, it's going to get crazy. And if Edinburgh's in this match, this place is going to get super, super loud. It gets pumped for a high school match. And, you know, Dylan, Cody, and Tyler didn't have many good matches in this gym because they were that good. Uh, so it's it's we're super pumped. So your son, Cody, is a freshman, redshirt freshman. Redshirt freshman. Okay, he's a state champ here at Sager Town. Two time. Two time state champ. Dylan, Dylan Ronalds, fifth Dylan year. State champ. He's state champ. Iron Man champ too. Iron Man. 50 0 his senior year, gave up one takedown in the Iron Man final. One Powerade, uh, one uh, uh, Iron Man, gave up one takedown in the Iron Man finals all year. It was 50 0. I don't think that's a record. I don't think that's a record to never be beat at Sager Town. And then you got Vath, he's also a fifth Tyler's year. Oh, Tyler was the first four time uh, state place winner in Crawford County history. Really? Yes. Yo, know, then we then another one happened. Nick Monaco, who was wrestling for Kent State, unfortunately uh, had a real bad shoulder, can't compete anymore. He was the second Crawford County guy to place four times in the state. And Cody's the only two time uh, state champ in Crawford County history. Okay, ultimately, what do you want the fan experience tonight? What do you want the borough to get out of this? What do you want Wisconsin to get out of this? What do you want out of this tonight for the fans and all the wrestlers? Uh, it's, about, it's about building a brand of wrestling. I, I, owe, I owe wrestling a lot. Without wrestling, I don't know where I'd be in my life right now. So it's it's all about building wrestling, giving these guys a great environment to wrestle in, and just they build the brand in Edinburgh. I think Matt Hill's got them on the right track. And uh, to make them feel like rock stars, them kids deserve it. Okay, the million-dollar question I ask the Jordans, Jim and Jeff, every time I talk to them, I'm going to ask you, can you still get the kid? Can you still whip the kid's butt? Uh, does he, or, does, or, 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 or does, he, does he put I, it on dad? I, I, I can't beat Cody. <laughs> I, 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 can't. I drilled with him a couple weekends ago. It was fun. I paid for it for a couple days. Matt let me come in, and I drilled with him. And, uh, you know, I can still help him out in some positions. I stopped wrestling him his senior year in high school. It yeah. got, got violent. Yeah. So I, Jeff Jordan, he tells me, yeah. He said he can't get Bo anymore. He's like, Bo, I can't get Bo. I can get the other ones, though. So. I loved I loved watching. We used to go over there a lot when we were little. Yeah. And you know, you do know, uh, this is where Spencer Lee got to start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then was, was Devin? Did Devin, Devin was here, too. Devin, Devin won a state title here yeah. in, when he was 2013, when Spencer was in eighth grade. So and his dad got a job at Carnegie Mellon. And then, they, yeah, they moved down there. Yeah, I worked for Larry at, uh, at Allegheny College. That's so crazy. Well, hey, thank you for the time. Good luck tonight to you guys. Go Burrow, Burrow Build, all right? Awesome.